What's up y'all, I'm Dennis from Greenville, South Carolina. I've been a Rumble owner for about the last week now, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the latest bike to hit the streets from Rumble Motors. So before I begin, full disclosure, Rumble reached out to several of us, some of the early adopters, early purchasers of the V4 bikes, and they asked us to consider doing a review, posting it online, posting it on YouTube, social media, things like that. And in return, they would give us a $350 store credit. Um, I was already planning to do this anyway, uh, so it was a no-brainer for me. I, I had no problem uh, saying, saying yes and taking them up on their offer. I hear there's a new seat coming out, uh, and it's a much-needed new seat, so uh, I don't mind taking that and, and, you know, in exchange. Uh, to their credit, they did not ask us uh, to, to post a positive review. Uh, they just asked us to post a review. And they didn't ask us uh, to, to have any input into what we were going to say or, or any of the content of this review. So um, just want you guys to know that starting out, uh, there, there is, a, there is a, a little kickback for doing this review. Uh, but it is, it, these are my words. They're not from Rumble. And you'll see as we go along that there, some of them are not all that complimentary. So um, I placed our order for, for our bike back in October of 2020. Uh, 2020 and it was from, uh, I guess, around November. We got a notification that I needed to pick the color of the bike. And, um, and then they gave us kind of a, a, a target window of the third or fourth week of December for shipping the bike to us. Obviously, we got notified in December there was a problem with the ports, uh, the get releasing the containers, it was wrapped up in the whole COVID thing. And uh, so uh, they said they would re release it as ASAP as soon as possible, and they had hopes to, 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 you know, get it to us quickly. Fast forward to May of 2021, and we finally got word that our bike had cleared customs and would uh, be inspected and shipped out as soon as possible. On June 7th, last Monday, our delivery day had finally arrived, and here's a little bit of what that looked like. Oh, oh, what's this? What is this? Please be the guy. This is our guy. I told you it'd be a box. Yeah, I didn't think it'd be a full 18 wheeler. It's our dude. Man, <laughs> what's up, guys? Good. There she is. think it's gonna make that curve that's all right Come on, man. Hey, thank you for the good part, thank you so one of the first things I noticed on delivery day was that the bike shipped with no MCO no bill of sale no owner's manual or any other documentations basically just the the crate uh, you know a free helmet that they included and the straps and that was pretty much it the specs on this bike with its 8,000 watt motor and its lack of pedals or pedal assist place it clearly in the category of bikes considered a motorcycle by my state, the state of South Carolina. And so not having the paperwork needed to register the bike has limited how and when I can ride it. Uh, the hopeful news is that Rumble claims to be working on getting the necessary paperwork ready for customers and that it should be available soon. Yes, we can. The handle. Right. That's so cool. Come in out. Come on out. Make sure you get it, Carly. Here we go. First wheel on the ground. Ooh. She's a beaut. Boom. 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 And I hope that's true, because I got to tell you, man, this bike is a joy to ride. We currently own a Super 73 S1, we, we've got an Onyx RCR, and loads of other e-boards uh, like One Wheels, Booster Boards, EUCs. And I gotta say, the closest thing that we have to compare the Rumble uh, V4 to would be our Onyx RCR. But after owning the V4 for a week, I can tell you it's not really a fair comparison because the V4 really is in a class all its own. One of the first things I noticed was just how heavy the V4 is. Uh, compared to the RCR, it's about 100 pounds heavier, weighing in a 230 pound stock. Um, it definitely makes uh, for, for a different feel uh, when you're riding it compared to the Onyx. That extra weight and the larger tires of the V4 give it so much more stability at higher speeds than the Onyx can achieve. Personally, I feel the most comfortable between 40 and 45 miles per hour or so on the Onyx, 
RCR, but on the rumble, um, I've noticed I can easily cruise around 60 miles per hour. So the included rear indicators are sufficiently bright, they're noticeable, and Rumble also included the handlebar mirrors stock as well, which was nice. With its quoted speed, top speed of 75 miles per hour and a range of 130 miles, this bike definitely has the dependability to be a, da a daily commuter for a larger range of people than I think the RCR does with its limited, more limited range. I love that Rumble included an audible engine noise that's somewhat tied to throttle roll. Uh, it can be a great safety feature when riding in the city for sure. Uh, I like that it can be enabled or disabled with a key fob, but a handlebar button would have been probably a little more user friendly. The speaker also does dual duty as a Bluetooth speaker so you can listen to tunes while riding as well. There are some honest criticisms though. The stock seat is far too narrow and uncomfortable on anything more than a short ride. Thankfully, Rumble is already at work prototyping seat upgrade options. I found placing my feet on the front foot pegs and pushing, back my, pushing my butt as far back on the seat as possible to be the most comfortable riding position for me. Um, the suspension spring under the seat could be stronger. Uh, I weigh around 175 pounds and the seat bottoms out. Uh, it clanks on the frame whenever a large bump is encountered due to the weakness of that spring. No USB charging port. This is a small thing, but I think it's really a missed opportunity on a bike this advanced. I can't seem to figure out the function of what appears to be the mode selector. I've ridden in all three switch positions, and I can't tell a, a noticeable difference in bike performance at any position. Under that mode selector, there's a push button with what appears to be a lightning bolt circled. Again, I haven't noticed that this button actually does anything. It's uh, most probably user error or ignorance, but the button doesn't appear to boost the bike, toggle battery display, or anything else that I've noticed. Maybe someone can chime in in the comments below and, and let me know what it's for. Did I mention that the bike shipped with no paperwork, no MCO, no owner's manual, no bill of sale, anything like that? You know, it's unfortunate for the, the community because with, bike, with a bike this, this gray, everybody wants to get out and get it on the street, get it, get it riding. But to do it legally in most states, uh, probably all 50 states, we're going to have to have it registered, a title, you have to have a motorcycle license, all of that. So uh, the other thing is just because of the lack of information, uh, the, the Rumble community is so small right now. Um, it's really it's created a void of information that could have been solved, uh, at least a, lot, a large portion of it could have been solved if they had included an owner's manual with the bike. So that's a, a bit of a drawback there. Uh, I think they're going to be remediating some of this stuff because they're, they're a fairly young company here in the States. Uh, and I think as they mature that a lot of this stuff will be taken care of. Um, but we, as a result, started a Facebook group uh, for uh, Rumble owners and pr prospective owners. So feel free to look us up on Facebook. We'll drop a link in the, in the, in the comments below. Uh, but it's uh, Rumble Motors Facebook, uh, Rumble Motors owners on Facebook. So look us up there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short review. I clearly, clearly uh, enjoy riding this bike. I, I, I love the product. Rumble has definitely put attention to detail into making the product. Um, I think some of the criticisms I have will naturally disappear as Rumble matures as a company, especially doing business here in the States. Um, so I look forward to how, how them getting the attention they deserve, and I look forward to seeing how things progress going forward. Well, that's going to be it for now. Hope to see some of you guys in our Facebook group soon. Uh, let us know your thoughts and anything else you'd like to see down in the comments.